Hi everyone and welcome to Tiny Air Gems. This is Tarun Gupta speaking. So in today's video, we're going to tell the difference between an unheated blue sapphire and a heated blue sapphire. So in the image in front of you, the left stone is unheated while the right stone is heated. So how do we distinguish between these two? Hopefully from looking at this video, I could explain to you under the microscope how to see the difference. So in the first one, is a GR certified 10.03 carat blue sapphire from Sri Lanka and it is violetish blue. And the second one is a 7.93 carat blue sapphire from Sri Lanka and it has been heated. So why are these two gemstones a good comparison for each other? Because they both have rutile silk inclusions. And this rutile silk is an excellent way in distinguishing the difference between an unheated and a heated blue sapphire. So the first microscope image I'm showing you right here is the 10.03 carat unheated stone. The first thing you'll notice is these fine lines which are intersecting in 60 degrees. This is a fine rutile silk inclusions, which you will see normally in unheated blue sapphires. So now let's look at this under the microscope. Again, you're looking at these fine lines which are in 60 degree angles which are intact and they, are, they don't have anything broken or completely clean. So this is a strong indicator in how to check if your blue sapphire is unheated or heated because these rutile silks are, gets damaged really easily in the heated, heated process. Okay, so now the second microscope image you're seeing right here is the 7.93 heated blue sapphire. The first thing you'll notice is these rutile silk inclusions are much more cloudy than the first one and they are more spread out. And this is because these, these silk inclusions have been heated and so they begin re partially reabsorb rutile needles. Usually what happens is when a rutile silk bearing sapphire is heated at high temperatures of 1400 degrees or more, the titanium quickly moves into the solid solution, while the other impurities such as the iron content do not. This leaves behind a silk skeleton, which you will see in, in these um, heated blue sapphires. Also, you will notice ink spots or blue clouds, which I'm gonna point right here, the arrow so which are remnants around the rutile silk okay so now let's look at this 7.93 heated blue sapphire under the microscope again what we're looking at is the reabsorbed rutile silk inclusions in 60 degree angles and and it does look very cloudy in the back of the stone here you could again see those ink spots and those blue blue areas where the, the blue color has been removed out because of the heat. So in conclusion, I hope you found this video really useful in comparing a heated and a heated blue sapphire with Rutel silk inclusions. And we are actually going to be uploading some more videos later on. So I do hope you subscribe to our video channel and please click a like button because this helps our channel a lot and encourages me to make more of these tutorial videos. Anyways, I hope you have a good day and thanks for listening.